Give me a little brief summary on uh, how long you been knowing me and how you feel about me. Man, I've been knowing Karen since, you feel me, my ninth grade, yo. Probably my eighth grade, yo. And the first time I met you, we was at, you feel me, we was at Lake Park. But you probably don't remember, you feel me. You had a little fro, you had all the little bitches and shit, all that. I used to be a little jealous and shit, but it's great. But, um, hell yeah. You a real ass nigga, bro. I didn't know that. Even when he was in the hospital, he always said, um, Coach, I'm going to play ball next year. X-rays of Kendarius Watson's neck after a dirt bike accident told a different story. The doctor told me I'd never walk again. I would never be able to play ball again. But Watson was determined to get up and get back to basketball. Four weeks later, a month later, we go visit him, and he's still in a wheelchair, and he couldn't move. And then all of a sudden, he stood up, and everybody's mouth just dropped. After that moment, began day after day hard work. Coach Tony Sorrell in July, he had got me, put me on his wing. And what happened next? It, it's just a miracle. But miracles take love from friends, from family. Now I'm back, I'm hooping with my brothers. And just, that's why I feel like he called it a miracle. And with that miracle, the team knew they would all win. He's our inspiration, you know, make us keep going hard. To see him out here practicing every day and, you know, doing what he loves to do. The team will travel to Fort Valley State this weekend for their first time ever at the state basketball semifinals. And win or lose? We brothers on and off the court. And when you witness a miracle, you learn what matters. Friendship, we're gonna always have that. being a basketball player and a student? As a basketball player, man, I remember when you used to, we used to hoop in gym ninth grade, and you just go to the rack. Your shot, it was all right, but you just go to the rack then. But now, after your injury, you start shooting, and you got one of the best shots on the team. Better than about everybody on the team. I don't know why the coach didn't trust you enough to put you in and shoot. As a player, as a, I mean, as a student, you always telling me in math class, I need to do this, do that, do my work. Cause you just want, you just keep always do your work. And so as a student, you really, you help me a lot. And I really appreciate it. Okay, what's your aspect on me throughout high school and basketball previous years? Like, so I, I knew you since like, basically, I knew you since some grade from the ring, how playing basketball together. Like, we used to go at it. Like, like, and like now, how you got like you improved as a player a lot, like, cause you remember like you ain't never played with no AAU team or nothing, like, or you played eighth grade, you ain't played with no AAU team or nothing, you you a fire that so I just look at you as a good player and a good student also, cause like you don't be on no nonsense, like you're skipping class and nothing, so yeah. They wanna see me fall, and I will never sell my soul. I'm on some shit that they ain't seen. Yeah. <laughs> I've been falling so damn hard, I swear I think that I'm coping Young bull on this rap shit, but I think that I'm coping I swear I'm dunking on these hoes, on these niggas on free throw These boys, they don't like me, cause I think that I'm coping Watch me hit the strip club, baby, run like the I'm not Hey, as y'all can see, this is my senior documentary it's been a great journey with basketball played a great season but as i look at it it's never going to end basketball gonna always be in my eyes and gonna continue to strive for greatness but i hope y'all enjoyed the video the end